Hello. Today we're going to talk about the KET. The KET is used for mobilization for a CV patient with a spinal injury. In this station, we're going to use the KED, which is Kendrick's extrication device. This is when a patient is stable enough and you do not have to put them on longboard right away. You're also going to use straps and a collar to put this in position. The station is going to begin with me and my partner walking on scene and going into scene safety BSI just like any other station we go. Scene safety BSI. Hi, my name is Charles. I'm going to direct my partner to go ahead and hold the spinal space station. I am going to have him squeeze my hands. He's going to be touching. He can move your toes. Check for a pulse. This time, I notice the, position, the patient is in a position where we not, will not be able to get the device behind him. We're going to have to move him forward a little bit. By doing that, we're going to move to the side of him. I'm going to put my far hand underneath his leg up onto his knee. My other hand will go onto the flat on his back, and on my partner's count, we're going to move the patient forward. One, two, three. All right, at this time, I'm going to measure and apply a collar. Properly measuring the collar, fitting it to the patient's neck to make sure there's not hyperextended or too loose fit. All right, can you open your mouth? Excellent. Good. Now you notice the, the collar is in position. Okay, at this time, we're going to insert the kit between the patient and the back of the back of the vehicle. So then on my partner's hands, I'm then going to come over to the front of my patient. I'm going to take C-spine while my partner puts the device in place. If you lift your hand, please. Okay, my partner then will take over C spine. I will then start doing the strapping. And this time we're going to use the middle strap first. Making sure none of the straps are tangled. You're gonna feed and pull so we're not having any excess moment. Please hold on to that. The bottom strap will be the next strap in place. Now, we're going to feed the leg straps in. With the leg straps, we're going to have to put them from the back end, make sure that the straps are not twisted or, or kinked or anything. Holding it back in and flossing it into position. By getting these straps in, it's almost like a flossing motion as you floss your teeth, trying to get into the position to the proper spot. So now at this time we have our middle, bottom legs. We want to go ahead and do our top strap. Always rechecking all these straps to make sure they're snug, but not over snug so that they're not impeding breathing. What we want to do now is go ahead and fold up the straps. We can then tuck them in behind, use that as padding, so we're not discomforting our patient. It also serves so that we don't trip over the straps as we're getting ready to move the patient. At this time, we want to now secure his head using our straps for the head. Starting with the bottom strap, coming up over the collar, having my partner feather in, coming out of the other side, feathering in with his hands, putting the strap in place. Now we're also going to do the top, 
hold it on the forehead, bring it down in, feathering it in on each side. As you can see, we have formed an X. It's now holding into the proper placement into the head. We'd also, if there was any voids or anything else, we would pad any voids before we went any further. I would then go ahead and check CSMs again. You can squeeze my hands, put good pulses, you move your toes, what's holding my fitting, touching. At this time, we would then move this patient to the long board and secure him to the um, board, also releasing the leg straps when we're done.